what is the mind of God that Albert Einstein chased after for 30 years of his life? The question is, who's involved in this race to perfect quantum computers? And the answer is, everyone. What happens when the world's most powerful quantum computer asks the oldest question of all? Who built the universe? Google's willow didn't stay silent. It answered with a strange cryptic message some call a modern Rosetta Stone. The response shook scientists, philosophers, and dreamers alike. The unexpected output. When Google's team first tested willow in free mode, they thought the computer would create random symbols with no clear meaning. Instead, Willow produced a surprising result. The screen showed a pattern that looked planned rather than accidental. The symbols repeated in a neat structure that made engineers stop and stare. One expert explained it as quantum interference settling into a shape of its own, like an identity that held together instead of breaking apart. Another engineer described it as a possible birth equation, something that hinted at the beginning of existence itself. The deeper study of this strange output made the moment even more mysterious. The pattern seemed to connect with error correction codes that are used in string theory. These codes are part of the models that describe the universe as tiny vibrating strings of energy. Scientists who know this field said the likeness was too strong to ignore. They felt Willow had briefly produced the same kind of structure that their own theories had been pointing toward for years. Some compared it to the work of physicist James Gates. He once showed that equations in supersymmetry contained shapes that looked like computer code. Willow's symbols seemed to echo that idea. The system displayed a loop that behaved much like the Fibonacci sequence, Instead of numbers or spirals found in nature, Willow formed repeating quantum terms that folded back into themselves. It looked as if the computer was trying to sketch the hidden design of reality using its own unique language. The strangest detail came later. When engineers ran the same test again, Willow never produced the same pattern twice. Each new attempt gave only random noise with no structure. To some, this meant the first result was a rare accident. To others, it felt like a secret door had opened once and then closed forever, showing only a brief glimpse of something larger than human understanding. A door opened once, then closed forever. But some scientists think they know why Willow could peek into something beyond our reality. The Multiverse Oracle Anomaly Theory some of the most surprising ideas about Willow's strange output came from Hartmut Neven, the head of Google's quantum research. Neven has long supported the idea that quantum computers may pull strength from parallel worlds. His view is connected to physicist David Deutsch and the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. In this picture, every possible outcome of an event happens somewhere in a vast multiverse. A quantum computer, instead of choosing one path, could use power from all of them at once. Neven suggested that Willow might not only calculate with this extra reach, but also bring back hints of knowledge from other versions of reality. In his words, the system could act like a window between worlds. If true, that would mean the unusual symbols Willow produced were not random, but part of a pattern shaped by more than one universe. For scientists who heard this theory, the idea was bold, but hard to dismiss, since Willow had already done something no classical machine could match. The scale of its achievement was almost impossible to measure. Willow runs on 105 qubits, each one able to hold multiple states at the same time. In one test, it solved a task that would take a normal supercomputer 10 septillion years to finish. That is a number so large, it stretches the mind. It is many trillions of times longer than the current age of the universe itself. This kind of speed seems to break the rules of what should be possible in our reality. For some, the only way to explain it is that Willow really does borrow strength from parallel worlds. If so, the strange symbols it produced might be more than an accident. They could be the first written sign of the multiverse speaking back. 
Messages from parallel worlds sounded crazy until Willow's second test. What it produced next made even skeptics start to believe something impossible. The cosmic code signal. After the first strange output, the team ran Willow through a second open test. They expected noise, yet what appeared carried order and balance. The symbols formed binary collapse patterns with a symmetry that caught every eye in the room. Instead of random scatter, the results lined up like steps in a planned sequence. The shapes looked very similar to gate operations used in quantum error correction. It seemed as if Willow had built its own protective logic without being told. Mathematicians studied the output and found signs of the E8 lattice. This is an eight-dimensional shape that many call one of the most elegant structures in mathematics. The lattice has appeared in models that try to explain the most basic rules of the universe. Willow creating something so close to this form left scientists amazed. To them, it felt as if the computer had touched the same deep structure that nature uses to hold everything together. The connection grew stronger when researchers compared Willow's results with the work of James Gates. He had shown that certain string theory equations carry hidden error-correcting codes, almost like safety checks written into the fabric of reality. Willow's signal seemed to echo that idea. The system had produced patterns that looked less like chance and more like instructions. Some of the team described it as peeking at the operating system of the universe. Space and time may rest on a logic that works like source code. The repeating shapes from Willow lined up with the same rules that guide quantum particles when they interact. The second experiment gave no final answer, yet it deepened the sense of mystery. Willow had not closed the case. Instead, it opened another door, hinting that machines may be able to read the hidden language that builds reality itself. Willow had cracked the universe's hidden language twice, but researchers were about to discover something even stranger about the nature of reality itself, the holographic universe theory. One strong idea that grew from Willow's strange signals is the holographic universe theory. This line of thought comes from scientist Seth Lloyd, who explained the cosmos as one huge quantum computer. In his view, every star, planet, and particle is part of one great calculation that has been running since the beginning of time. Researchers saw that Willow seemed to reflect this vision in surprising ways. The processor is built on a two-dimensional qubit lattice. This design matches ideas from black hole physics where information may be stored on flat, two-dimensional surfaces rather than deep inside the object. The holographic principle expands this thought even more. It suggests that our three-dimensional reality may be a projection created from two-dimensional information. In that sense, Willow could be seen as a small version of the universe's own computing framework built by human hands inside a lab. This idea joined with another theory often linked to physicist Max Tegmark. He has pointed out that the universe follows strict mathematical rules at every level. Galaxies, atoms, and even the path of light can be described with exact formulas. To Tegmark, this is not just a sign of order. It means the universe itself is a mathematical object. If reality were like a program, the code would reveal itself in the form of mathematics, and we would keep finding those rules everywhere we look. Willow's chip also echoed this thought through the way it uses entanglement. Each of the 105 qubits links with others, creating patterns that spread across the system. In physics, some scientists believe entanglement is what allows three-dimensional space to appear from lower dimensions. The process inside Willow could mirror the same effect, with qubits producing the illusion of depth just as particles in the cosmos may do. To many who studied the results, this felt like a rare glimpse into reality's hidden structure. Willow was not only performing complex calculations, it seemed to reflect the same design that shapes the universe itself. The thought that a machine in a lab could mirror the logic of existence filled researchers with both wonder and unease. 
A machine mirroring the cosmos felt incredible. Yet the most shocking theory was still coming, one that suggested time itself worked backward through Willow. Time Reversed Answer Theory One possible way to understand Willow's strange reply is through the idea of retrocausality in quantum mechanics. This idea was shaped by physicist Yakir Aharonov, who proposed the two-state vector theory. In this view, a particle is not only influenced by what happened before, it can also be guided by conditions that exist in the future. Time may flow in both directions, and information may pass forward and backward together. When looked at this way, Willow's pattern could be seen as shaped by the future as much as by the present. The machine may have touched informational states that belong to a timeline not yet reached. Instead of drawing from many universes, Willow may have reached into what lies ahead. Some researchers explained the output as a whisper from the future. The question entered the system in the present moment, but the answer may have traveled back from a point that has not yet happened. If true, the signal came not from another place in space, but from another moment in time. This thought connects with delayed choice experiments in quantum physics. In these studies, the choice to measure a particle can be made after it has already passed through a setup. The strange part is that the later decision still changes the earlier outcome. It is as if the future reached back and shaped the past. Willow may have taken this same principle to a new level. Its 105 qubits could have lined up with both earlier and later conditions at the same time, forming a bridge across the flow of time. If that is the case, Willow's answer was not noise at all. It was shaped by rules that belong to the far edge of the universe's timeline. The system may have connected with information written in the future and brought a trace of it into the present. The idea is hard to imagine, yet it carries meaning. Reality may not be built on a one-way march from past to future. The future may be as important as the past in shaping what exists now. Willow may have offered the first glimpse of this hidden balance. Whispers from the future seemed impossible. But what if Willow had found something even more unsettling? Proof that reality itself was programmed. The simulation shadow theory. Another way to look at Willow's unusual signal is through the simulation shadow theory. This idea says that Willow may have touched evidence that reality itself works like a programmed system. The roots of this thought go back to the work of physicist James Gates. He found error correcting codes hidden in equations of string theory. These codes are the same kind used in computer systems to protect information. To him, it looked as if the basic rules of physics were written with digital safeguards built in. Physicist Max Tegmark also spoke about this. He explained that if reality keeps looking like code, then maybe it really is code. He pointed out that every layer of nature follows strict mathematical rules. Light, atoms, galaxies, and even the shape of space can all be explained through precise equations. To him, the reason we see so much math is simple. The universe may itself be a giant mathematical program. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson once added his own thought. He said the odds are close to 50-50 that we live in a simulation. To him, the chance is high enough that we should take the idea seriously. Through this lens, Willow's patterns looked like the fingerprint of a hidden programmer. The shapes carried symmetry that felt too ordered to be random. It seemed as if the machine had brushed against the framework that keeps reality running. Some researchers began calling this the DNA of reality. Just as living cells carry code written in genes, the universe may carry its own source code. Willow, by driving its 105 qubits into unusual states, may have tapped into that layer. The repeating structures it produced looked like the same mathematical rules that control how particles move and interact. To those who studied the signal, the meaning was striking. Willow had not only carried out a calculation, it had revealed a shadow of something deeper, a possible blueprint behind the construction of the cosmos. 
For many, the idea was both exciting and unsettling, as if reality itself might be a simulation waiting to be understood. The DNA of reality, hidden in quantum code. But to understand how Willow accessed this cosmic blueprint, we need to see what made it so powerful. Technical specifications of Willow. Willow is built on a superconducting chip that carries 105 qubits. Each qubit is special because it can hold more than one state at the same time. This ability allows the system to move through countless possibilities in a single moment. In one important test, Willow solved a task in only five minutes that would take a normal supercomputer 10 septillion years to finish. That number is so large it is almost impossible to imagine. It is many trillions of times longer than the entire age of the universe. For scientists, this became proof that Willow had reached quantum supremacy, the point where a quantum computer achieves something no classical computer can ever match. One of Willow's strongest features came from the way it handled mistakes. Quantum systems are usually fragile, and errors grow worse as more qubits are added. Willow surprised the team because the opposite happened. As its qubits increased, the level of error dropped. Each new layer of connection seemed to strengthen the system rather than weaken it. This was a huge step forward in quantum error correction and made Willow far more stable than earlier designs. Hartmut Nevin, who leads Google's quantum research, linked these breakthroughs with a daring theory. He said Willow may carry out its work by drawing on the power of parallel worlds. His view follows the many worlds interpretation put forward by physicist David Deutsch. That interpretation suggests that every quantum event creates a new branch of reality. Instead of one outcome, many outcomes exist at once, spread across different versions of the universe. If this picture is correct, Willow may use information from more than one branch of reality when solving a task. Its amazing power could come not only from advanced hardware, but also from access to a multiverse of resources. To the engineers and scientists studying it, that idea was both thrilling and unsettling. Willow looked less like a single machine and more like a window into a network of realities that human beings are only starting to understand. Willow leaves us with more questions than answers, yet its strange signals feel like glimpses of something larger than we can explain. If this journey sparked your curiosity, like, share, and subscribe to keep exploring the unknown with us.